you will not want to move to Davenport, Iowa after watching this. What? Too dramatic? Oh. Okay, let me try it again. You will not have a changed opinion about moving to Davenport, Iowa after watching this video, but you will have better understanding what it's like to live here. Just watch the video, you'll learn what it's like to live in Davenport, Iowa. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back. You know, we cover everything living in the Quad Cities. We, I love making these videos, but as much as I love making these videos, I also love helping families move here, relocate to the area. So if that's you, make sure you send me a call. Pause the video right now. Here's my phone number down here. Give me a call, send me a text. I'll help you out with any questions you have, but let's get started. So if you're moving to Davenport, the first thing you really need to know is how to really get around town. And luckily for you, I've been around town a few times. I do talk about traffic in some of my other videos. Generally, tra traffic's pretty good. But what are those main thoroughfares that you're probably gonna wanna use when you get here? So there's a few of them. We got places like Locust Street, which runs east-west. Kimberly also runs east-west. Uh, 53rd Street, that's another major thoroughfare with a lot of shopping on it. We also got River Drive, which is right down by the river, which is where I'm located right now. So you got a lot of different options as far as that. A few notes about some of those streets, say Locust, probably one of my least favorite streets just because of how narrow it is. When you're driving down Locust, it feels like you're you know, neck and neck with other people. You don't have a lot of space to maneuver. So probably my least favorite, but it is a very convenient street to get from you know, West Davenport into East Davenport. There's a lot of traffic that goes up through there. Another really convenient one is Kimberly Road. Um, it's a much bigger road, much wider road, a lot of different stoplights on it. And you're gonna get a lot of shopping along that area as well. A lot of neighborhoods along Kimberly Road. So just really good road to get east and west. And then finally, the big one is 53rd Street. That's probably gonna be the most um, used road. Um, it's north of town ton of shopping along it, a ton of different uh, residential areas there, probably the biggest infrastructure road in the Quad Cities in Davenport. So it's going to be one of the main thoroughfares that you use. And then obviously down here on River Drive, you can get river views, you can get the downtown Davenport area, as you can see behind me. So you're going to get a lot of different things, you know, going east to west. But as far as major, major thoroughfares going north and south, you have places like Brady Street, Harrison Street, which kind of the same street, you know, it's one ways on the opposite direction. So those are two big thoroughfares. For interstates, we have I-80, so that's going to be north of town. You have I-74, which is going to be east of town. It gets you across the river, but you're also going to get I-280, which is actually outside of town. So interstate travel along those lines. But your two main thoroughfares that go in north and south is Harrison and Brady. And you can say maybe Marquette is another good one. Those are the main streets that you're gonna be using when you move here. A lot of businesses along them, a lot of residentials along them. But overall, to get around the city of Davenport is fairly easy once you understand where things are. But those are the main thoroughfares that you will be using. So what kind of places can you actually get groceries at? Well. We do have some major chains here and some local chains. Um, one in particular that comes to mind is Hy-Vee. It's local in the sense that it's local to the Midwest. Started in Iowa, started in Des Moines, and kind of expanded from there. We have a ton of those around town. They're great for fresh veggies, uh, great for just your general groceries. We'll tell you that they tend to be a little bit more expensive. So if you're going there, just know that going in. But they do have the Hy-Vee Fuel Saver. So they run specials on certain items. You get you know, money back for different items for your gas. So it's just a really good you know, grocery store for that as well. Other grocery stores that are in the area are like Aldi, have a ton of different Aldis around. They're really good for you know, cheaper groceries. We have Walmart, we have Costco. Costco is actually fairly new to Davenport. It's north on 53rd Street. A lot of people like to go there. Um, Sam's Club is another one where you get a lot of those bulk items. So we have those options as far as grocery stores go. And they're spread out throughout all of town. So they're really accessible to everybody. You just need to pick your favorite and go from there. So when you get here, 
you're probably going to want to know who you need to contact for your utilities. So I'm talking like gas and electric, I'm talking internet, I'm talking water, I'm talking trash, yard waste, all of those different things. So who do you contact for all those? Well, it's a combination of a couple different things. So for like gas and electric, MidAmerican is going to be your choice for that. They pretty much have the whole Quad Cities in general. I think there's a few exceptions, but they're going to ones going to do your power and your gas. So for your furnace and for your electricals, all that sort of stuff. They're going to be your number one as far as that goes. City of Davenport is going to be doing your garbage. They're going to be doing your sewer. They're going to be doing your yard waste. So they're going to do all of that, and it's going to be one month the cost for all of that. So that's very convenient that the city takes care of that for you. But what about water? They don't do water. Mid American doesn't do water. The water is going to be handled by American Water. They're the number one place that handles that, so you don't really have much of an option. But luckily, they are fairly affordable, so even though you don't have much option, it's a good option to go with. But let's talk internet. What are your options for internet? Now, these are the ones that I know. There may be some others that I don't know about, but these are the big three that I know about. First is CenturyLink, second is Mediacom, and third is actually a newcomer, and that's Metronet. So I've had all three. The first one is CenturyLink particularly don't like them. When I got CenturyLink, they said I was going to get a certain speed. Come to find out, they couldn't even offer that speed. I was renting at the time. That apartment complex couldn't even handle the speed that they quoted me for. So I only ended up with a much lower speed. They never corrected the billing. So I'm not a big fan of CenturyLink, but they are an option around here. Second one is Mediacom. Now Mediacom, I really didn't have too big of issues with. Their service would come and go once in a while. The issue that I mainly had was their pricing. It was a lot more expensive and the speeds were decent but they weren't the fastest around. Then the newcomer came in and that is Metronet. Now Metronet I believe is all over the Quad Cities, all over Davenport for sure, but they are my favorite. They are a fiber network so uploads and download speeds are the same and it's some of the fastest internet that you can get. I actually have the lowest here and I believe I'm getting like 200 megabits per second upload and download. So even at that, they are cheaper than what I was paying at Mediacom. Nothing wrong with Mediacom. I did enjoy them while I had them, but when there's a better option, I decided to go with Metronet. So those are your three big internet providers that are in Davenport that I know about. Like I said, there may be some exceptions that I don't know about, but those are the three that I'm the most familiar with. So what is there to do for entertainment in Davenport? Well, there's actually quite a bit to do for the size of town that Davenport is. You know, you can see right behind me, this is actually LeClaire Park down on the river. They host all sorts of different things. They have, say, on the 4th of July, they have Red, White, and Boom. They have Pops on the River here, which is the Quad City Symphony Orchestra. They have the stage they play, uh, usually to like a movie or some kind of theme. So great for that. They have a beer festival down here. You can see behind me, the farmer's market is actually held right behind me. So that's another great you know, entertainment option. The thing I really, really like about Davenport is it's small enough to feel like a hometown, small town, but you have a lot of options for entertainment. Over to my right here is the Quad Cities River Bandits, which is a great team. They are a minor league baseball team, in case you aren't familiar. Uh, but great entertainment, you know, fairly affordable for the family to go to. So if you're thinking family affordability, Quad City River Bands is a great option for that. But if it's something that you don't want to pay for, the Davenport area has a ton of different parks that you can go to. So you have Sunderbrook, you have Vanderveer, Jun. Um, so just a lot of different parks to get outdoors. And a lot of them are connected by the bike trail system, which is actually over here. You can see it right over there. So it's a great option for you if you just want to get out outdoors and hang out. Those are all great options. Plenty of options for the entertainment sphere and I really like them all. Now I hope you never have to use this but what sort of medical facilities do we have here? Well we have two main big competitors as far as medical facilities. We have Unity Point and we have Genesis. Both have hospitals in the Quad Cities area. Uh, Davenport specifically has a lot of Genesis, but 
not too far away in Bettendorf, right on the Bettendorf-Davenport line is Unity Point. And each of those hospitals have a ton of different little clinics, urgent care clinics, all over the Quad Cities, all over Davenport. So those are going to be your two main facilities that you'll use if you do have any kind of medical things, which I really hope you don't. I had to use one of the facilities just the other day, the medical facilities. All I did was go get a checkup and I got the bill. It's $170 for just my checkup. I don't know where that money went. It was a five minute appointment, but I guess that's the medical system that we live in nowadays. It doesn't really matter what hospital you go to. That's kind of the prices that you're seeing. Maybe the hospital isn't what you need. Maybe a chiropractor is more what you need. Luckily for you, this is like the chiropractor capital of the world. And it's really because of Palmer Chiropractic College. It is one of the best colleges for chiropractor, as I've been told, and a lot of chiropractors come out of there. And as a result, some of them stay local and start their own practices. So because of that, we just have chiropractors, seems like on every corner. So if chiropractor is something that you need, Davenport is gonna be a great option for you. Now, like I said, I am a real estate agent here in the Quad Cities. I love making these videos, but I love helping you find the place of your dreams. So if you have any questions, my phone number is down below. Make sure you pause the video, write it down. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. But I only covered a little bit of what Davenport is to live in. So check out this video if you want to know a little bit more what it's like to live in Davenport, Iowa.